The fastest way to learn Japanese is to go to Japan. The fastest way to learn any skill, pick up any mindset, change your belief systems is to be immersed around the people who have that skill, who believe in that thing, who have the mindset that you want to do. That's the fastest way to do it. And I think one of the biggest reasons why entrepreneurs stay stuck, stay small, stay struggling is because you are the most ambitious person that you know. You are the one who's trying to lift everybody up, but the people around you are stuck, are negative, don't have a growth mindset, are not chasing down their dreams, and all you see is the potential in them, and you're lifting them up, but nobody's lifting you up. And that has to change, because if you want to get to the next step in your life, the next greatness in your life, you want to actually create, you want to actually create that great life for yourself, for your family, for the people around you, then you have to start changing your environment so that it pulls you up to be that great person. I got asked yesterday on my live stream, hey Evan, how do I create more positivity in my life? I wanna be a more positive person. <laughs> I love it, what a question. I mean, who asked those questions? You learned that stuff in school, how to be a more positive, happy person? I love it. So I said, hey, the easiest way to do it is to be around more positive people. Be around positive podcasts, YouTube videos, Instagram accounts. Think about what when you load up on your phone, you go to Instagram, you go to YouTube, Think of who you follow, who you subscribe to. Do you feel more positive as a result of engaging with them? When you load my video, do you feel more positive? Hopefully, if yes, watch more. If no, unsubscribe and go watch somebody else. Choose to surround yourself with the people who lift you up. And those might be physical, actual humans in your life who you, who you know. And those might be other online resources that you can learn from. It now exists that if you want to spend time with an Ed Milet, a Tony Robbins, a Grant Cardone, an Oprah Winfrey, you can. Even if they never know who you are or you never meet them, you can spend time with them and they can lift you up. Because the more you're spending time with those people, the more you will start to develop their mindset. It's why I started the Billionaire Mindset series on my main channel. We started this series so for 30 days, you get a new video only from billionaires where we take different aspects of their life, of, of their mindset, of their morning routines, of the books that they read, of how do they overcome failure, how do they stay motivated, how do they not quit, all of the things that, that make them successful that you can be around every day for 30 days. Because if you start watching that, you start hanging out with billionaires, you're gonna start thinking like a billionaire. That's the whole idea. Slowly, every single day, because you're being immersed in their world, you start to think like they think, you start to see the world like they see the world, you start to see problems the way they see problems, you start to see opportunities the way they see opportunities. <laughs> you start to take on the billionaire mindset. And so you have to be very careful over who you let into your life, because the more time you spend with them, they're gonna start to infect you in a positive or negative way. And too many people just have the negativity in their lives. You have too many negative people around you, too many people who've already given up on their dreams, too many people who don't feel like it's possible. And you can't let that poison your spirit, your dream, your abilities. So how do you do it? I'm gonna give you a three-step process. Step number one, figure out your who. Your who is your single most important core value. Uh, I wrote about it in, in both my books, Built to Serve, my latest one in your one word, figuring out what is your one word, what is your who, what is your single most important core value. And you can go through the books to, to go in detail, but really just think about what do you love about your parents? Who was your favorite teacher growing up? What is your favorite movie and why? If you had to pick one core value that is more important to you than anything else, what would it be? Even if you had to just on the spot come up with it right now while you're watching this video, what is your single most important core value? And a lot of times we don't, again, this is not something that we teach in schools. This is not something that people learn by default. Some people get it right away and some people need a lot of thinking to figure it out. Why it's so important is whatever your most important core value is, that's what you still need more of in your life. So taking me as an example, my most important core value is belief. That's why I have believe uh, on all my videos, on my shirts, on, on my walls, on everything that I'm doing. And my biggest problem is still believe. My biggest challenge is for me to get to the next step in my life, in my business, I don't have enough belief to get there. And so that's why I create the Inspresso series, my top 10 series, all of the videos that I do to help me have more belief in myself and then also share that with you guys. And thankfully, enough of you like to watch it that I can turn it into a business to hire, hire a team and keep doing more and more and more of this stuff. So when you figure out your who, your single most important core value, you recognize what it is that you still need. 
in your life. Another way to look at it is think about the advice that you would tell the younger you, whether it's five years ago or 19 year old you or whatever, what advice would you give younger you? At the core is still the advice that you need right now. Whatever you would tell younger you is the same message that 95 year old you would tell you today. It's the exact same message. You're just playing on a different scale. You're, you're playing bigger. You, you have bigger goals and bigger aspirations and bigger hopes and bigger dreams than you used to have, but you still need that same message. So 41 year old Evan would tell 19 year old Evan, believe. 95 year old Evan would come back and tell 41 year old Evan, believe. Believe that it's possible. Believe that you can. Believe that it will work out. Believe, 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 believe. So step one, in order to pull yourself up is to figure out what is your single most important core value because that gives you the clarity to know where you need to get that help in because you're lacking because for me as an example i'm injecting belief into everybody else i need more people to inject belief into me i need to be around the people who have such a strong belief that it inspires me to believe more in myself so for you figure out what that one word most important core value is step number two Audit your current life. Audit your current friends, your current circle, the people you spend the most time with. Audit them and see, do they give you more of that or not? Whatever your who is, whatever your most important core value is, who in your life already gives you that? So when you leave them, you're going to a barbecue or a birthday party or you're just hanging out. When you stop spending time with them, do you feel more of that or less? So for me, if I'm hanging out with somebody, do I feel more belief in myself, more excitement, more energy, or less, most people will, will sap our energy. Most people will take our energy. Most people will uh, just be filled with negativity and insecurities and doubts that we have to then pour so much into them. And a lot of times you'll leave feeling worse about yourself. But there are some select people where when you spend time with them, they make you feel better. They make you feel hope. They make you feel the positivity. They make you feel the belief. They make you feel like things are possible. Who are those people? Even if they're not super close people to you, who are those people in your life? And then how can you try to spend more time with them? Maybe just somebody that you met once at some event. How can you meet them again for coffee? How can you create a monthly mastermind with them? You fight to try to spend more time with the people who inject you with the positivity and belief that you're looking for. Structure it. Don't wait for something magical to happen. When you find somebody, I like to say I like collecting good people. So when I find somebody who I really like, I fight to try to spend more time with them. I wanna collect good people in my circle. So audit your circle. Most people will not pass the bar, but you'll find some select people, even if it's just one person, that then you can try to spend more time with, can make a giant impact on your life. So step number one is figure out what your who is, your single most important core value. Step number two is audit your circle to see who is helping you with that and spend way more time with them. And then step three is supplement with online resources. So you subscribe to YouTube channels that give you that belief for me, right? You subscribe to people on Instagram who give you that belief. You read books, you listen to podcasts, you're around it constantly. You, the clothes that you wear, this, putting this on every day makes me believe in myself more. I tell myself that I'm a superhero going to work. Whether that is true or not, whether that sounds stupid or not to you, awesome. It's, it's what, what works for me. Putting this on as part of my morning ritual, I remind myself I'm a superhero. I'm like Batman going to work. Let's go. <laughs> the things that are in uh, my office as reminders of believing in myself more, right? So when you when you figure out your who, step number one, your single most important core value, then you can design your life, your habits, your structure, your routine, your environment around it. So if your who was positivity, great. What helps you stay positive? What helps you remind yourself to be more positive? Maybe it's doing an act of kindness. Maybe it's a quote that you put up on your wall. Maybe there's some podcasts and some videos that you wanna watch that remind you of positivity. Not the same video over and over and over and over again, because you'll tap out, you'll, you'll know what's coming and it won't mean anything to you anymore. But, but channels, people who are creating consistent content. That's why I make so much content every single day across all my channels in multiple languages is because I want to inject people with the belief that they need to go and live the life that they know they're capable of creating. That's why I do what I do. 
And so if belief is your one word, that's your who, awesome, then you know what to do. You could, I got lots of content for you. But if it's something else, then there may be other people who can help you with that. But being around them every day, being around them every day, being consumed by their content, following them on Instagram and following them on YouTube and subscribing to their po all of that, all of that stuff. The more you're around them, the more you will start to think like them. The more you will start to take on their mindsets, their beliefs, their habits, their routines. And that seeps into you to help you become that version of you that you're looking for. So when you can go through those three steps, you figure out your who, your single most important core value. You then audit your circle and you, you restrict the people who make you feel worse about yourself and spend more time with the people who make you feel better about yourself. And then three, you supplement in to your environment, the, the YouTube videos and podcasts and books and, and people, virtual mentors who you may never meet, but help you feel more of that. You do that consistently. That's when your life starts to change because you've got a great message. You've got hope in your heart. You know, you want to do good. You know, you want to serve and you know, you're capable of bigger game. You know, you're capable of so much more. The challenge is your environment right now doesn't support it and you're fighting against it and you're fighting to try to make it happen and you're fighting and that constant battle between knowing you could do so much more but then not ever living up to those expectations keeps you stuck but by changing your environment all of the things that we talked about today by changing your environment the world then conspires to pull you forward to make you better and to help you achieve the dreams that you know you're capable of if you want another Evan Rent video that just might give you the confidence you need, check it out right there next to me. I think you'll enjoy it. Continue to believe and I'll see you there. Everything you want out of life is on the other side of heart. Your great life, your great relationship, your great business, your great career, your great opportunities, all of them.